There are on the floor of this hall a series of plaques. They mark a certain type of history. What about the history of humanity? What are the boundaries of, of the history that this building can contain? The whole project begins as the conservation of Westminster Hall. It's an ongoing process. Everything is in the process of decaying. Unless we are treating it and conserving it, it won't be there very long. And I'm very interested in Westminster Hall because it's been there very long. It's been there over a thousand years. The Ethics of Dust is a work made of latex and dust. It is a cast of the east wall of Westminster Hall. It is 54 meters long and six meters high. The way we produced it was to apply a very special latex that is designed to absorb as it dries the dust on the surface of the wall. And then once it's dry, we pull the latex off uh, and off comes the, the dust straight with it. And what's amazing about it is that you can see the dust has settled into place as if it was the wall itself in the imprint of the wall. So it's almost like a photograph. When it's peeled off, the stone is clean. What was on it, the centuries of dust, pollution, dirt, all these particles are embedded within the latex. It's a kind of echo of the wall. Uh, and so you have this extraordinary opportunity to compare the solid wall with this kind of soft skin. Art Angel, we're always looking for a kind of um, absolutely genuine relationship between sight and work. I don't think that this sculpture installation would work anywhere else. When Jorge proposed it to us, there was no hesitation. We are eight months away from the exhibition uh, and that is just enough time. This is, this is really sort of cutting it close. You can see a bubble there that I'd really like to get rid of. Well, I'm interested in objects that have cultural significance over many generations. They're really treasures. I mean, they really are treasures of, of humanity. I mean, The hall was uh, constructed in the 1090s by William the Conqueror's son, William Rufus. In the 1390s, uh, Richard II, as a mark of his kingship, built this tremendous hammer beam roof. So you now have this huge masterpiece, uh, a European masterpiece of, of carpentry. And if you look back into the history of the hall, not only of the Second World War, when bombing of London, but also the bombing of uh, the House of Commons and, and Westminster Hall, to the fire of Westminster Hall in 1834, and to the coronation banquets, back to the great legal trials that took place in here. The history of the hall is richly embedded within the walls of the hall. Art in historic places has been a way of focusing your attention and helping you sort of frame where you are. So I hope that this piece will bring in a new sort of expectation. So as you move through the space, hopefully you'll stop and take a photograph or have a conversation or, or look around in a different way than, than you might otherwise. It will allow people to make connections between the past and the present. But I think people will rethink what dirt is, what pollution is, and what dust holds in terms of the stories it can tell.